advisory board and this entire process would not have been possible and we would not be able to stand here this morning uh, announcing Ohio as the first in the nation with open stable accounts but also the first state in America to offer it to every citizen with a disability throughout the country. This would not be possible uh, were it not for parental involvement and parental leadership. And uh, there's a lot of parents in the audience today, you know, we don't have time to bring everyone up and so many throughout the state that have been helpful. Um, but we wanted to uh, hear from a, a few of those parents uh, who represent different communities. Uh, first, we're going to call up uh, Samantha and Mike Hartley, uh, who are executive committee members with uh, Columbus Autism Speaks and have been very involved with the autism community here in Central Ohio and throughout the state of Ohio. Samantha and Mike. Thank you, uh, Treasurer Mandel. Um, and I just want to say that um, my wife, Samantha, and I were very proud to stand alongside Treasurer Mandel to celebrate the nationwide launch of Ohio Stable Accounts. Our son Xavier was diagnosed with autism when he was four years old. He's now eight, almost nine. Two weeks, right? Two weeks. Two weeks. Um, so he'll be nine years old. Um, for years, for those five years, we, we fought to provide him with the same opportunities uh, that other children um, have. Uh, maybe you've seen that work over at the state house and such. Um, we're still trying. Uh, you know, autism care is expensive, but critical. And our son should be able to save for his future just, just like other kids can. And, you know, he deserves a full life. He deserves a secure financial future. And stable accounts will help give him that. Um, you know, as an autism awareness advocate, you know, advocates, we commend Treasurer Mandel for being a leader on this issue. Um, this issue matters. Uh, if you look in the autism community, one in 65 children are diagnosed, one in 45 boys. Um, it's an issue, and this helps those families, particularly in Ohio, as we don't have full coverage. Um, just like parents are able to set aside money to save for their children's college and invest in their futures, individuals living with disabilities and their families should have those same opportunities. Stable accounts allow individuals with disabilities to live a more independent lifestyle, complete with financial security and individual empowerment, some of the autism community we call transition. Ohio stable accounts will open up many doors for Ohioans living with disabilities and for individuals across the nation. Uh, we are very excited and very proud of Treasurer Mandel and his office uh, to be part of this historic announcement. Thanks, man. Another parent we uh, have with us uh, this morning from Cleveland is Matt Cox. Uh, Matt and his better half, Diane, have been incredible at this process, uh, especially Diane who couldn't be with us this morning because she's with their son Ben in Cleveland, uh, has just been one of the tip of the spear leaders uh, for us in helping to get this up and running uh, and to make sure uh, those in the special needs community are aware of it. Um, both Matt and Diane are involved with uh, the United Cerebral Palsy Organization and uh, related charities and uh, this morning uh, Matt drove down from Cleveland to uh, talk about what this will mean for, for his family, uh, for their son Ben and uh, Matt, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Treasurer Mandel, and everyone here for allowing me to be here to join in this celebration. Um, uh, as a father of, of, of Ben, who is uh, 12 years old and will be disabled, um, I understand uh, how much joy kids like him bring into this world. And uh, he has severe cognitive and physical disabilities. Um, he couldn't uh, even walk on his own until he was seven years old, and he just recently, in March, uh, had his uh, fourth open heart surgery, uh, where he was actually out of the hospital in three days. So he did very well after that, and we just got back from vacation, and he had a great time. Um, his life is challenging, but he's a happy kid uh, who's reaching his own potential, um, because in part, we have great services in Cleveland and in Ohio. Um, he's actually not here today because he has therapy at noon. Uh, and that's where his, uh, my wife is uh, taking him to therapy. And <clears throat> we've also been able to supplement his therapies because it's June, and um, this is usually the time of year where insurance runs out on paying for his therapies for the year. And so we have to financially provide to continue those therapies throughout the year. 
um, not just with, um, he actually received multiple therapies, swimming, horseback riding, uh, physical, all, all of the above. Um, so, that, so we can provide that. We're fortunate to be able to provide that. A lot of parents do. A lot of parents hold fundraisers with their families to be able to provide for those extra services. Um, but I know firsthand that, that they have really benefited them greatly, uh, as well as our family. Um, we couldn't even go on vacation five years ago, and now we just enjoy a nice two weeks away. So everyone benefits from that. Um, never really would have occurred to us that we wouldn't have been able to provide for those extra services for Ben uh, as he got older, um, or to do it in a way that didn't make a lot of sense. But now because of these stable accounts, uh, we will be able to do that. Um, the benefit is that as a father and the mother, we just want to make sure that Ben's financial future is secure. We also want to make sure that his two sisters have the ability to take care of him um, after we're gone. And not being able to do that would be a tremendous stress, not just on us, but on his two sisters as well. So the stable accounts really allow us to put money away for his services, his extra services, um, his quality of life. Uh, ben is really fortunate to have uh, a great uh, support network of family and friends who love him, uh, organizations that are really top quality, being in Cleveland clearly, um, with the health care provided up there, it's fantastic. And now it's kind of neat to include um, a treasurer who took a leadership role in this effort, a lot of elected and appointed officials who really care about the situation to be able to give them uh, a better life in the future.